Hey everybody, welcome in to Studio Day Heffrey, where we're playing the weekly game of how much was Garrett's fault? Are we going to fire head coach or what? Uh, I want to start off with, I'm not going to kill Garrett today on fourth down decisions. I'm not going to, you know, I thought they had probably three opportunities in that game to be aggressive and they opted to be conservative and the Patriots were kind of doing the same thing. Uh, Bill Belichick kicked a 48-yard field goal on fourth and one in this game while the game was very close. It was close the whole way, so obviously, whatever. Um, I will take giant issue with Jason Garrett in one regard and then other issue with Jason Garrett in other regards. But here's the first one. Here's what I don't like. Shout out to my guy, RJ Choppy. On 105.3, the fan, when they interviewed Jason Garrett this morning, and he asked him about when probability added. You're asking Garrett about nerd stuff. Like, hey, do you guys, you know, uh, win probability added based on what happens on a certain play? You have this win probability, and then on the next play, you have this win probability. Uh, you know, do you guys have access to that information? And Jason Garrett's answer was, we don't use that information during the game. Oh. Uh, Oh, when else would you use it? That's what it exists for. You should have a guy, like the Ravens have the blueprint. You have a guy, coach. You look to your right and you say, okay, it's at this point in the game, it's fourth in this. If we kick it and we make it, what are the odds we win the game? Okay, if we kick and we miss, what are the odds we win the game? All right, if we go for it and we make it, what are the odds? If we go for it and we don't make it, what are the odds? Which one does math say is a better decision? This isn't hard, man. This should be elementary for FL coaches. The answer of we don't use that information in the game is negligent to your job. It's negligent. You can't answer the question that way. Like, I don't want to go too far. That's a fireable offense. I don't care. The fourth downs are fine. Look, bad weather. We were having trouble moving the ball. We didn't think we'd convert on fourth and seven or fourth and three or fourth and five. You can sell me that. And I won't kill you for that. And you know why? Because I don't have the win probability added in front of me right now to know how egregious or not egregious your mistakes were. But the idea that you are in charge of the decisions of the football team, and I know for a fact you are, it wasn't Kellen Moore deciding to kick a field goal or not because I watched the camera pan to you on 4th and 7. You made your little kicking motion, and then the team ran out on the field. You called a kick. And I'm not going to kill you for that, but not knowing... What the odds are, what happens from here on out based on the result of this play, based on the decisions that I make, if you don't use those things in game, you shouldn't make decisions. Because whoever makes decisions has to be armed with that information or they're being negligent while coaching a professional football team. And I'm not even a homer. Like, I just got fired up because that's wrong. Like, that's not okay. It's not okay to not have the information available on what you should and shouldn't do. That's atrocious, man. I was, I'm stunned. I'm shocked and stunned and appalled. I woke up this morning and then, you know, I'd had my night's sleep. So it was like, you know what? The fourth down stuff, I won't kill him for that. Belichick made the same decision on fourth and even shorter in a close game. And the weather, good defense, Mari Cooper can't do anything like, okay, I'll let you make it on the fourth down stuff. But then I heard you on the radio.com rewind this morning. And you told RJ choppy, we don't use those stats in game. We don't use those during the game. Well, I hope you have fun with them today or whenever you use them. Okay. What else do we blame on Garrett? That's my only monster one. The other stuff is when Sean Sharif asked him about, hey, what'd you guys, what was your practice schedule this week? And he said, you know, we pray. Like he made Rob Gronkowski right. Gronk on the broadcast, who he's a terrible broadcaster. And I think the reason that he throws me off so much is because he doesn't blink. Like he's right into the camera and he doesn't blink and it's really awkward. But anyway, that may be a condition. So I should probably go easy on that. 
If you don't want to blank, you don't have to blank, Gronk. It's all good, man. But, uh, yeah, when he said that, yeah, we practiced inside on Thursday and Friday and outside on Wednesday, when you could have practiced in bad weather, you opted to practice in good weather, probably because your story would be, well, we want to get the most work done we can. We want to get the best prepared we can. But the best prepared you can probably would have involved having your quarterback know, am I going to wear a glove or not? Because Dak couldn't throw the ball to start the game and then realized, oh, wait, maybe if I put this glove on, he puts this glove on, and all of a sudden he can throw the football well. And, man, your job's to prepare the team. So today you acknowledge that you did not take advantage of every opportunity you had to prepare the football team, and you acknowledged that in-game you guys don't use numbers that help dictate who's going to win or lose the game by assisting you in decision-making inside the game. So. It's a rough day for Jay Jeezy. Let's see how Jerry's feeling. Still in first place. Also, the tripping stuff. What is this tripping stuff? I know. I heard Rex Ryan say it, and I heard Jesse Holly say it, and it's the same thing that happened to LP uh, whenever that was when he got called for a bogus penalty. You go into a week, and the other team is telling the officials, hey, this team does this. You better keep an eye on this. Please watch out for them tripping. And so you just make up two calls that didn't happen? Bunch of idiots. Bunch of idiots reffing the game. Uh, and I didn't even talk about the special teams. Man, how's, how's that even possible? You had a block punt. Uh, your team is not prepared for if they show you no returner and a punt block. You have to take a delay game if that happens. And then when they have a returner, but they're not covering your gunner, you freak out and your gunner's running in and it's an illegal shift. And then Tony Pollard doesn't know where to stand when the team is kicking off into the wind and that'll all get blamed on Keith O'Quinn and that's fine. But if you're the head coach and you're not the OC and you're not the defensive coordinator and you're not the special teams coordinator and you're not responsible for anything, then I guess there'll never be a reason to fire you. So I guess that's a good way to be safe. Anyway, that's the video for today, folks. (sighs) They're still going to win the division. They are. The Eagles are going to go eight and eight. Anyway, in the comments, leave your favorite special teamer of all time. From any team. Doesn't have to be a cowboy. Your favorite special team. Really got me getting some some spittle there on my microphone. All right. I'll catch you guys on G-Bag Nation today. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and make sure that you're checking 1053thefan.com every day. I still love you.